Underneath this pile of stuff is a rare car that you may have never even heard of, but it's been sitting here untouched since 1999, and the owner wants to see if we can pull it out and bring it back to life. Now the issue is, the key was lost a decade ago, and the car doesn't run, so we had to pull it out using a strap while the wheels were locked. But once we got it far enough out, we were able to use a jack to turn it the rest of the way and then finally start getting it up on our trailer so we could take it back to our shop and start detailing it. Now, while we clean the wheels, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what this car is. So it's a Saab Sonnet 3, which was only produced between 1970 and 1974. And because not a lot of these were bought back when they were being produced, only a total of about 8,368 of them were manufactured. And now we're gonna apply a paint safe degreaser to all of the paint before satisfyingly pressure washing all this dirt away. As you guys might know, Saab is a Swedish company and they actually originally started to make airplanes when they first went into business in 1937 and that has lended itself to a lot of oddities uh, when it comes to their cars. This car, you already noticed that this looks to be the hood. So instead of like, you know, American car companies where the hood lifts up or here and it's the whole surface area, Saab decided that they were gonna make this tiny little bonnet 
to hide the engine. We have no idea what engine this actually has. Well, looks like a little latch right here. Pop that in and wow we what the heck? That's a four cylinder. It we'll does say, two on each side. Yeah, it says V over here actually. I wonder if it's similar to the Saab 96 that we had that also had a V4. But this is, the orientation is completely different than the Saab that we actually own. So now we're gonna remove this air filtration system so we can actually clean the whole engine, but we make sure to cover the carburetor so no water goes down in there. And for now, the last thing we're going to do on the exterior until later is remove any iron or microcontaminants in the paint. So when we go to polish it, it's way easier and it comes out way better. So like RJ was mentioning earlier, Saab has a lot of quirky things going on with it. And one thing that I just noticed now is these seat belts, which I've never seen anything even remotely close to this. But this is how it works. So the belt is just a belt. That's it. And you slide it on through and just click it down. And that's your seatbelt. I've never seen any car even remotely like that, but it's an interesting design. Another interesting thing is you can't adjust these seats at all except for forward and backward. And usually to remove seats out of cars, we have to unbolt everything. With these, you just open it and just whoop, pull it out. And that's it. So these are super easy to take out and super lightweight. All right, another interesting thing that we just found, well, Brent just found it was this huge lights, however you open it. But uh, usually pop-up headlights, you know, are electric. This one is mechanical. So I'll see if I can get it to actually go. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> what a quirky car. That's so much of a better design than a hydraulic or uh, electric. Dude, that was pretty smooth. I mean, it was hard to pull, but yeah. Can you give him to go back down? Let's, let's put him down. Uh, I don't know if I have to turn it or if I have to push it up. Wow, that's cool. That's pretty cool. So once we found that out, we made sure to open them back up and clean inside the headlights too. And now we're gonna move to the inside, which was surprisingly in amazing condition. So it really just needed a good thorough cleaning, but nothing too intense. Now for all the door cards and interior pieces, we're just gonna use an all-purpose cleaner and a brush. And once we clean everything, we'll wipe it away with a microfiber towel.
All right, leave a comment down below if you guys think these are safer than actual seat belts in cars today. Like we said, we've never seen this design before, so I can't exactly say how it would work in an accident. And now we're gonna do a one-step polish to try to remove any oxidation on the paint. And as you guys will see, it brings a lot of life back to it. And these rocker panels were super oxidized and just really needed to be re-dyed. So we had some black dye and we decided to do that and it made a world of difference. And then after that, we put a ceramic sealant on the paint just to give it a little bit of protection and shine and this car was good to go. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel because we have some really cool stuff coming up with a very rare car. And with that being said, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.